Okay, so today I have with me Lucy and Betsy. Uh, they're cousins. And they are also what we call the babies of the barn. Okay, girls. <laughs> um, and they just came in from playing outside, so they're hungry. And I'd be surprised if, if both of them participate, but we'll see. At any rate, so the thing about both these girls and the reason why we call them the babies of the barn is because um, they were born to us. Um, in one of our last episodes, I think it was the last one, we introduced you to Sophie and Ella, and these are their babies. Betsy belongs to Sophie, and Lucy belongs to Ella. So the interesting thing about Lucy is that, as I mentioned in Ella's story, Ella refused her at birth, which means uh, Lucy was basically an orphan foal. We tried um, many different ways to fix the situation. Uh, there's different hormones that you can treat a mare with when they do refuse a foal, which is very um, infrequently. Um, but of course it would happen to us. <laughs> and. Um, but nothing would work, and it was a very uh, became a very dangerous situation for Lucy as Ella tried to chase her and kick her and bite her, and simply would not allow her to nurse on her. So the way that uh, Lucy was able to get food and and nurse is that we had to hold on to Ella's halter up at the front, and we had to pick up her back leg so that she was unstable and couldn't kick her, and then Lucy could nurse. So it was really um, challenging, it was exhausting, and babies need to eat all the time. They generally nurse about seven times an hour. So um, we had to feed Lucy every hour on the hour, 24 hours a day. And it wasn't just myself, it wasn't just Belle. In fact, I think Belle was away at school. But at the time we were boarding um, these horses, and so we had help from the people who worked at the barn to take shifts. And I took the evening shift, the overnight, I should say, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And you would feed Lucy. Um, babies are very playful. They're um, unaware of what time of day it is. And so when she would nurse, you would have to wait until she got tired and laid down and fell asleep before you could really quietly, almost tiptoe out of the stall, close the door quietly, and then I'd go sit in my truck and set my alarm on my phone for the next hour uh, to come back out and do it all over again. So it was a really um, exhausting time to raise her uh, because of this, but as babies get bigger, and, um, and then she learned how to um, drink her full milk replacer um, out of a bucket, a good girl. Drink a little more. Oh, good girl. Right down the middle. Good girl. That didn't eliminate the amount of time that we had to feed her. All it did was eliminate the stress. We no longer had Lucy in with her mother and um, so we didn't have to have all that stress of worry of if she was going to get hurt but the time frames of feeding her didn't, didn't change. So Lucy's ex uh, exceptionally special to us because we had to raise her. And she is the sweetest, most loving, funny kind of a gal. She will give you a hug. She's the only one in the barn besides Martha that will hug, throw her, her neck over your shoulder and give you a hug. So that's Lucy. She just had a birthday, what, two weeks ago? And, yeah, about a week um, ago. The 12th. About a week ago. She just turned five, so I'm going to post that on the story because we don't want everyone to just think all we have around here is Martha. So Lucy just turned five. Um, Betsy is okay, girls, you not can't leave. as much to talk about with her because Betsy was raised by um, Sophie, and she was she had a great... Um, Babyhood. Childhood for, for herself. She She was raised well, and um, and her and Lucy really didn't start playing with each other until they were, I don't know, a couple of months or yeah, 
or so old, um, and they have, since then, they've been inseparable. They live together uh, for all of their life. Betsy um, is way more high strung than Lucy. Lucy could care less about who she's with. Betsy is so attached to Lucy, she literally comes unglued. And, um, and there's times when they have to be separated. And so we've had to really work with Betsy on her independence and her confidence and Bet. her ability to, you know, be on her own without Lucy here because she would just literally get wild and um, would try to jump out of the stall if Lucy was, you know, getting her feet trimmed and Betsy wasn't there. So okay, everybody's she's saying. She's come a long way and she is, um, she is so attached to Lucy and Lucy is not nearly as attached to her, but they nonetheless love each other to pieces. Lucy reigns in this stall um, as being the boss, even though Betsy's taller, uh, Lucy is the bossy one. So that is these two girls.